All right, quick raspberry sauce. I'm going to add a half a cup of water to this freshly washed with cold water. See these six ounce containers? I'm going to put two of those six ounce containers. A little bit of water. A quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to squeeze these little nice little lemons that I found. Around. There's three of them. Let's see, I'm just going to squeeze the juice of them in there. Cook this down until these become soft. Just a couple minutes. Oh, by the way, the rest of the lemon went in my water. <laughs> All right, I think this is just about ready. Let's take a couple minutes to see. It's just got to be like that. Consistency. I'm going to take it off the heat and try to pour it into here in the count um, strainer. Oh, getting a little foggy. This is what we do when we scrape this, strain it, and squeeze all that goodness out of that. See, it's coming out nicely. It's a little bit wet. There's a reason why I made it like this. So, if you want it a little drier, you could add. Um, a little bit of cornstarch with that water, it'll make it like a slurry and thicken it up really nicely. You could actually do it now still too. But, the reason why I didn't do it, I'll show you in a minute. A little bit. It's still steaming really nice. But um, I decided to add a little bit of cornstarch and water slurry. See the slurry, you gotta make it with cold water. I just do this a little bit. Go pour it in there. Watch, watch what happens. See, is it that beautiful color? See, it's a little thick. See, if you use um, if you use it hot, it doesn't break down. And now, oh, now it's gonna have a rich, rich flavor. Right. No, no fooling around. You see how this sauce tastes with a brownie. Oh, brownie's kind of breaking apart. Mmm. Hmm. want to give that one a try. That's pretty good stuff. Oh, a few more minutes. A few more minutes on that stove and it really thickened up. And look how thick that looks. Beautiful, huh? Mm, this is going to taste good. It's a third and goal.